And joining us now is Larry O'Neill. Talk about trimming trees. Why right. should we even be talking about that, Larry? It seems like we should be bundling up the trees. Exactly, but this is the best time because, you know, when you print it in the winter, you don't have to worry about bugs, insects, you know, or to get in there and fungus and disease. So winter pruning is your best time. In about 30 days, and you know, is the best time to do it. So within the 14 next to 30 months. Days. Right. Would you do it now when we've got these freezing temperatures? Sure, it's not a problem. Really? They, they, they're dormant. They're not going to be adversely affected. Winter pruning. I'm sorry. Thank you. It's just going. <laughs> okay, winter pruning is always the best option. Okay. okay. Some of the things not, not to do is when you're pruning is when you're pruning some, let's say you want to take this branch right off here. Okay. You know, a lot of times people... How you know, do you know which one you want to take off, Larry? Well, that's a good, that's that's a good question. question. <laughs> you know, when the branches are uneven and they have the scaffolding branches or lateral okay. branches are uneven, you want to balance that out. What happens in Florida, because we have so much wind, that when you have a tree that's over too much on this side, the wind will blow and it twists that tree. This is catching more wind mm -hmm. and this side is catching less. So that twisting action back and forth the tree on a repetitive time causes the uh, tree to break okay. or the branches to break off. So you want to balance, especially when it's young, red maples, oaks, you want to do this when it's young because it's more difficult for them to recover when they're older. All right, do you want to cut it or can I just clean and um, break it off? Good question. You got a heavy branch that say, you know, you want to make sure you cut two phases. You know, when a branch is bigger, yep. bigger than you can hold, you want to make your first cut coming down like this. What that's going to do is relieve the weight. When, a, when you cut your first cut down here, what happens is that when you make that cut, it's going to pull down on the, the weight of the branch is going to pull down and tear this out here. And this is going to be a problem for the tree. The, on the future, it's going to rot. Water is going to collect in Florida. So, you know, and that's why not, I don't want to break this. Like, I would just break this off, right. but you don't want you to You wouldn't want to do it. Okay. You want to cut this first, and then you want to come back on a heavier branch, and then cut the bottom part. And that's your next cut. So it's going to be light. It's not going to shear off. It's not going to split. Then the other thing you want to do is look at branches that can create problems for you. You know, say, take for instance, this lower branch here. You know, this is going to be a lower crotch. There's going to be a lot of weight here. And this is going to be potentially an area where it can break off in, in, during a windstorm. So you want to remove those when the tree is young so they can heal over easily. When you're taking those big, huge branches off, it's less likely to heal. Okay. Uh, the next thing is you want to make sure that you don't have included included bark. Is what happens is when a branch like like let me take this around, a branch like this is growing out like here, and this these branches appear to, that they're growing together, but they're actually not. It's called included bark, and this area is going to create rot when they're bunched up sure, together. That makes sense. So you want to make sure that you remove that branch. One of the key things, well, I'll go over here, it's a little larger. One of the key things over here is when you're removing a branch, I don't know if we can see the spot here, but you see this right here? This is the collar wood, and you don't want to flush cut. A lot of times people flush cut, they'll just cut straight down along that branch. Well, this tissue here is a specialized tissue. It's called collar wood. And I see it, yeah. You want to preserve that. It's a, this is the tissue that will heal that branch and cover that wound up. So you want to make sure you cut a little bit on the outside of that, about a quarter inch, a half an inch out there, and, and get it nice and cut even. Well, let me ask you what mm -hmm. types of trees, because a lot of us have camellias out there. Right, Should we sure. be trimming those right now? Uh, camellias, no, you want to trim them after they bloom. You know, you want to look at your oaks, your maple. Later on, people want to prune your creek myrtles, and th those are some of the things you want to do about this time of year. Okay, Larry's going to be back later on to talk about, of course, the cold weather. i got to tell you, this tree is freezing. Yeah, I put my hand on it. It was like ice. <laughs> All right, for more information about gardening, log on to Larry'sGarden.com or call him at 346-1970. Uh,